Anyway, at the end of the day, all you get is one other card, one other piece of identification, which frankly, we have enough of at this stage. We have enough ridiculous kind of bits of plastic or passwords. We don't need another identity card. I think we have enough of these pieces of paper. That. And obviously now chip and pin has come in, which is another ridiculous thing that we've had, like whatever. My friend, my friend here, Simon, how many credit cards do you have or debit cards or that kind of stuff? I've got two. Two at this stage. Do you have different pin numbers for each? Yes. Yeah, you do. How do you remember them? Do you not have a system? Do you, did you pick them specially? Did you just take them? Just remember them. You just remember them. Okay, great. So they haven't, you haven't chosen them particularly to, you know, I know we are kind of two questions away from identity theft at this stage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your mother's maiden name? I think it's ridiculous that they all get narrowed. There was no identity theft until our identity became four digits. I mean, there was no identity theft when you had to sign for stuff. Because no, that's difficult to do. Faking somebody's signature isn't an easy thing to do. We've all tried to do it. Like, Dara won't be in school today, Dara's mammy. <laughs> it didn't work out, right? We learned early that. But four digits is a doddle. It doesn't matter what system you have. Oh, I've got an incredible system. I have my year of birth, and I have my wife's year of birth. I subtract my children's year of birth, and I divide by Chico's career in weeks. I don't know. Whatever you have, right? <laughs> You have a whole special thing worked out. You go, no, no one will ever guess. Oh, good for you. Unfortunately, you're four foot eight. I look over your shoulder in boots. <laughs> I've got it, right? Ridiculously straightforward. And we've enough of the damn thing. The passport alone, for God's sake, should have all the information without getting another bloody thing. And even as it is, like I flew recently from Stansted up to Prestwick, right? And we were at the Ryanair flight from London to Glasgow, went to the counter, said, I'd like to fly. And your man says, uh, do you have your passport? And I said, no, of course I don't have my passport. I'm flying internally. Unless there's been a massive political upheaval <laughs> in the last 27 minutes. I'm not expecting to arrive in Glasgow and have a man in a trench coat walk down the middle of the plane going, Wo ist deine Papierchen? Haben Sie deine Papierchen? Give me deine Fahrkarten. Give me deine Fahrkarten. Yeah, make a Fahrkarten. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's so good, deine Fahrkarten. So good, yeah. Good luck. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, not expecting that to happen. But I, no, I said to your man, I don't have my passport. And your man said, well, I'm going to need some form of photo identification. And I had to fish through my wallet. And I found like, an old work ID and I handed it to your man and said, there you go. And he goes, I'm afraid this is out of date. <laughs> and I went, well, I'm still him. <laughs> and your man went, touche, yeah, good boy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Go on, go on and play. <laughs> okay. And I know it's because there's a greater sensitivity at the moment, and I know it's because there's a war, and I know because bombs going off in London and all that. And I'll say this as someone who's been living in the city for about three or four years. I was here last summer when the bombs went off. Well done. It was spectacular how it was handled in the city. It was very, very impressive, right? I heard lots of stuff over the years about London spirit and all that. But when it really happened, it was amazing to watch, right? And I do tell people that the way when the bombs went off on the 7th of July, the city reacted in a phenomenally London way. The entire place went, oh my God, there's a bomb on the Piccadilly line. Well, I can get the Victoria line. <laughs> Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel, so subscribe and like to get more funny clips.